Greetings from Fire Island, New York, and welcome to the incorporated village of Ocean Beach, the heart of Fire Island, fun in the sun, jewel of the Great South Bay. And Fire Island does have beaches on both sides. Here is a quick walk of the Great South Bay side of Ocean Beach. Fire Island is about 30 miles long with about 20 different communities, all with a unique personality. And I would say for Ocean Beach, this boardwalk area is definitely the personality. Um, it doesn't have completely the island vibe as if you headed it down a little bit further, you'd feel really like you're on an island because there's only one or two things to do. But here, there's what looks like a flea market, restaurants, ice cream, the Great South Bay, the Atlantic Ocean. There's just endless opportunities of uh, things to enjoy. So you really can do a day trip here and not feel like uh, all there is to do is the beach. And you could even come here on a cloudy day. And again, this is the incorporated village of Ocean Beach. And it does remind me a little bit of Ocean City, Maryland, and the fact that there just is so much to do here. Now, I say that because I started today's walk over at the Fire Island Lighthouse, walking through the communities of Kismet, Salt Air, and there's actually a place here called Lonelyville. <laughs> Lonelyville did not have anything, not a main street, not a shop, not a ferry terminal. Uh, and here we have something that reminds me a bit of uh, mainland Long Island. And not that that's a bad thing because when you come to a place like Ocean Beach, you have to take a ferry to get here. And coming to Fire Island, all of your stress just melts away <laughs> when you're riding that ferry. It's like sun in the ice cream. It just gets a little bit softer and easier. And then when you find you get here, it's uh, your, your energy level change. And of course it should. You are in a completely different location. You're underneath the sun. You've got the Great South Bay on one side and the Atlantic Ocean on the other with those waves crashing in on the shore. It just changes your energy. As it is the energy that is around you. There is also a, uh, a church here that I did visit earlier, complete walk-in. Um, not all communities have amenities of any sort. Many people bring whatever they need for the week, the day, or their time on Fire Island in a uh, pull cart with them. As you can see, everybody's walking or riding a bicycle. No cars here. You'll see a few um, along the beach you know, for emergency services purposes. But most of the transportation, you're wondering, these are big houses. How did they build them? A lot of it is golf carts, believe it or not. A golf cart is one of the most common forms of transportation. Supermarket do exist, but not in every community. Here is the pantry. And now we have reached Ocean Road. Bad boy, Burrito Company. And that walkway is to the Atlantic Ocean. And this walkway is to the Great South Bay. And since all of the activity for Ocean Beach is here on the Great South Bay. I shouldn't say all, oh, I mean, there are people definitely enjoying the Atlantic Ocean. Hey, here is some tile art. Don't want to miss that. Because part of the community aspect of Fire Island is people don't think twice about decorating their house a little bit weird or doing something different. Often it's not their main house. And so, you know, they will um, bring the mermaid clocks and the sea glass outside 
and maybe have a little bit more fun with it. Um, and so don't want to miss the art. There is our, oh, glad I walked over. There's Waterside Dining that we missed by walking uh, down that main street. There is the marina area. And this is definitely one of the more active communities uh, with things to do. Beautiful waterside residence and summer sunset views. Till next time from Fire Island, New York. Happy summer.